coach Jennifer from Sea Lemon. So I've had this necklace idea in my mind for a while and I thought this would be a great time to make it because we are celebrating this milestone together of hitting 1 million C subs and I think C subs rule. So I've been really wanting to have just a necklace that had a ruler on it that said that. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you might remember I did my first 50,000 celebration of custom rulers and have also made a video that goes through all of my rulers so I am pretty nerdy about rulers and I wanted to also make something that you guys could make along with me and of course I encourage you to make your own version of this if you're not into necklaces that's totally cool you can make a keychain a bookmark or any other version of this idea also I know that usually the million subscriber milestone is celebrated with a gold award and everything is gold but I actually prefer silver jewelry so I just went with the silver I am a DIY channel Channel, but I have never done metal stamping before ever. This is actually my first stamping project and I will give you some beginner tips along the way if you are a beginner too. I reached out to Impress Art who is a big supplier of metal stamping supplies and I told them my idea and they were so nice to send a bunch of their tools and supplies to help me get started. So this video isn't sponsored but they did send me the supplies so thank you Impress Art. And if you're curious about any of the tools and materials I use, I'll put all of those links in the description below. And let's get into it. I'm making this necklace from an 18 inch chain and two jump rings and a one and a half inch rectangle stamping blank with holes. This one is made out of alchemy, but you can use different metals. You can find gold plated, silver plated, or silver. And I do recommend getting some cheaper blanks to practice on because it does help to practice before you make it on your actual piece. You can even test out your stamping on a thick piece of chipboard or wood if you don't have any blanks. The tools I'm using include a steel block and I do put an extra piece of rubber underneath that just to soften the noise a little when I hammer on it. The steel pad does come with little rubber feet, so the extra pad underneath is just something I like to do and it's totally optional. A metal stamping hammer with a brass head, chain nose pliers, and it helps to have two. I didn't have another pair of these, so I just used some regular needle nose pliers. And some extra things that help with alignment, removable tape, a scratch protector which you can put on your stamping block. This will protect the back of your project and some stamp guides which are really helpful when you're laying out a phrase, a word, or a lot of different stamps. This pack also includes some radial adhesives which are really helpful for round projects. For the letter stamps I'm using the font lollipop and this one doesn't include a hashtag which I want to use on my project so I'm using one from a different font set but you could also improvise by stamping four I's or L's together to form a hashtag. Or if you have a line stamp, you could make one with this. I'll be using these for the ruler lines. And lastly, a black enamel marker to darken the impressions. All right, let's get stamping. So I'm starting with a scratch protector and I'm going to start with the ruler lines on my rectangle blank. Since this guide is basically a ruler, I'm just going to follow the lines on this and I'm adding extra tape so it doesn't move around. Using the shorter line stamp, I'm making the half inch marks first. Try to stamp at a 90 degree angle and to align it, you wanna pull it toward the guide so you just start feeling the edge and then you know it's in place. I'm continuing making the half inch marks, holding the stamp toward the bottom and striking it with medium force. And now I'm going to adjust the guide to make the longer inch marks. I'm using the longer line or dash stamp and going along those one inch marks to make lines. Now on the other side, I'm going to make a new guide with the word that I want on the back side, which is hashtag CSubs roll. Secure the rectangle to the block again with removable tape and stick my new guide just below it and this font is actually tall, so I'm just going to put it very low on the rectangle. And just like with the lines, I'm pulling the stamp toward the guide until I feel that little notch, and then I know it's in place. And some tips to keep in mind, if you're stamping letters, you wanna make sure that the letter engraved on the stamp is facing you, then you know it's going the right way. And keep in mind that 
the more complex the stamp, the harder you might have to strike. So for example, a B has more detail going on and might need to be hit harder than the letter L. And you'll get more familiar with the striking force when you practice. The stamping slightly curved my rectangle, so I'm going to just tap it a little bit with the hammer until it flattens out. Now to really make the impressions pop, I'm going over all of them with my enamel marker and you really want to get into those little nooks and crannies and let it sit for about 5 minutes and then wipe it away with a soft cloth. And I did the same process on the other side for the ruler portion. Now to turn this into a necklace, I'm adding a jump ring into the hole and the end of the chain and closing the jump ring with the pliers and I repeated this on the other side to complete the necklace. Impress Art also made me a custom stamp out of my logo which I thought was so cool. This part is optional but I tested this out on an oval blank and I found it easiest to hold this in place using a radial guide and then sticking another guide just below that to align the logo. And the smaller the blank, I find it a little bit trickier, so this did take me a couple or a few tries to be honest. It does require some extra stamping force because it's complex, but it is an extra way to add some branding to this necklace. I added some black enamel to this and attached it to the necklace with a jump ring. If you want to try something similar, you can explore different stamp designs. If you're new to this like I am, I definitely recommend practicing on some blanks before you do your final project. You can see some of my trials here. I did start out a little bit wonky because I wasn't sure what pressure striking force to use. And the more I practiced, the better I got a feel for it. Thanks again to Impress Art for sending me all of these supplies. I'm happy with how this turned out, and as of now, this is my favorite piece of jewelry. If you make your own version of this, I would love to see it, so share it with hashtag CSubsRule or hashtag CLemon, and follow me on my social links while you're there. Also, if you have any metal stamping tips to share, share them in the comments below so we can all learn from your experience and knowledge. And also, I have some new merch in my Teespring shop if you're curious about some sea lemon merch. I put up a new design called Lemon Love. I try to make the most out of any lemons that I have and make them into something better. So Lemon Love and C-Subs show Lemon Love all the time. Shout out to all my patrons, my YouTube members. Thank you for supporting this channel. If you're interested in that, those links will also be down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, join us because C-Subs rule. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. And I will put some related videos around here. All of these links and more information will be in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.